Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to export data to CSV file with header information using BCP command. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber on one of my video where I shown you how to export the data to CSV file using BCP command. So the question was from the Umesh Bhosle and he asked how to add column header in the CSV file. So in the video where I have shown you how to export data to CSV file using BCP so by default when it exports the data to CSV files so it exports the data without the header information so if you want to export data to a CSV file with the header information then you can continue on this particular video and I will show you how we can do that so let's jump to the demo in my SQL Server 2019 instance in the work database I got a table here email underscore sample and this table contains 100 records okay so I want to export this particular SQL Server table into a CSV file with the header information. So initially let me explain you the query that we use to export the data to a CSV file without header information. So I can just briefly explain you the whole command that we use. Then I will explain you the command that we will use to export the data to a CSV file with the header information. So I already created a batch file in the C files location and if I explain you the BCP command. So what we are doing here that first we need to write BCP and then we will need to write the SQL query that we will use to fetch the data from the SQL server table. So this is the query select star from database name dot dot table name and then we need to write the query out and here we need to provide the name of the CSV file to which we want to export the data to. So if you will just name the file name then the file will be created at the same place where the batch file is currently situated and if you want to export the data to another location for example if you want to export into another drive like maybe into D drive then the file will be exported to another drive okay and after this file name we have minus C C is for character data type it uses care as a storage type okay and then we have the minus T minus T is for field terminator so after that we need to provide the field terminator in the double quote okay so here our field terminator is the comma and then we need to provide the minus capital T so minus capital T this is for trusted connection and then we need to provide minus S here S is for the server name so this is the basic command that it will select the data from the email underscore sample table and it will export the data to the email.csv file so let me just save this particular file and let me execute this particular file so you can see that email.csv file has been created here and if I open this particular file so the data is separated by comma but it does not have the header in the first line so we want the header to be present in the first line so what we can do is that we can use another command which can actually append the header information along with the data as well so I have found a very beautiful script written by the Dylan Hog on the stackoverflow.com and I will share the link of that particular URL in the description of the video so this is the script which actually performed the whole thing so I can copy this particular script and I can paste it here and I can just briefly explain you what we are doing here so I can paste the script here so in the first line what we have done we have declared the variable BCP export server so you just need to provide your server name then we have created another variable here BCP export DB so you need to provide your database name here then we have declared a BCP export table so you need to provide your table name so my table name is email sample that I'm going to select the data from and my database name is work so that's why I have provided the values for the table name and the database name and this is my server name okay so in this particular command what actually we are doing that we are selecting the columns if you see here information schema dot column so we are selecting the columns where table name is this one BCP export table so the table is selected from here okay and so what we are doing we are exporting the data to the email underscore sample dot csv so all the column information all the header information will be exported to this particular csv file so in case if you want to make any change to this particular script then you can just provide the server name here then the database name here and the table name here and rest of the things like this query you can let it as it is and now in this particular script we are actually exporting the data without the header information to this particular csv file email underscore sample 2 dot csv so in the first line we exported the header information to this particular csv file 
and now in this particular line we are exporting the actual data without the header information to this particular csv file email underscore sample to and now we have cleaned the values for the server name and database name and table name variables and now in this particular line what we are actually doing is that we are merging the data from email underscore sample dot csv to email underscore sample to dot csv so what we are doing we are just merging the header file plus the actual data without the header file and we are creating a new csv file and whose name is table data dot csv so one file will be created out of two files from here okay and as soon as the two files have been merged and we have created a new third file then we are actually deleting the first file and then we are deleting the second file so that's what we are doing here so if you want to export your own table then you just need to provide three variables your server name your database name and your table name and a file table data dot csv will be exported to the same location where your batch file will be okay so let me just save this particular file click save and i can go here so now if you i will execute this particular batch file then it should generate the data here and the new file name should be table data so you can see that table data dot csv has been created here and now if i open this particular file so it should be comma separated but with the header information so now you can see that in the first line we got the header information and after that we got all the actual data exported to this particular csv file so i will share the email underscore sample table with you along with the data so that you can create this table along with the data and then i will share you this particular command as well where you can export the data to a csv file with the header information so you can download everything from the link in the description of this particular video so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much